London, where we're here for some spooky fun for the whole family, uh, where park operations today are from half past ten until four o'clock. Well, it's a bit of a gloomy day today, so hopefully the rain will keep off. Um, it costs £23 a ticket here, for, uh, regardless for parent or child, it's exactly the same price, which is a little bit odd. But if you uh, book in advance, it's only £17. So, and also, if you're in emergency service employee, it is actually around about £12, so you do get quite a good discount if you work for the emergency services. So stay with us and uh, we'll see what there is at Mount of Bath, the Golden Kingdom. Had a go on crazy barrels there, the family theme of the spinning barrel ride. The thing to understand about Gulliver's Kingdom and all the Gulliver's Parks is it's specifically designed for all small children. So if you've got a family, it's absolutely brilliant because kids can go on pretty much any ride here. Or for anyone who shamelessly wants to gain more credits on coasters. So stick with us and uh, we'll see what else there is here. It's not scary up here, Frankie. Come on.
point of note with this park is I can't believe the amount of hills there actually are. It's quite weird. Now, I actually work in Western Lake District where there's hills and fells all over the place, but here it's absolutely ridiculous. And there's that many hills that we actually have a travelator to get to the top of this hill here. Please hold on to the handrail at all times. Take so, all children if you do struggle with big hills, Please it does actually take the, uh, the stress out your legs coming up, um, which is a lot better than uh, having to walk down. Just to give you a bit of perspective of how steep this hill is, there you go. But it's quite good to be able to use the travel later rather than uh, walking up the big massive hill. So, uh, but it isn't actually very wide, so I'm not sure how we're going to get the, uh, the pram up here, but either way, it's a better idea than walking up on foot. That's a quite a good level of theme that we've put into uh, Halloween at this park. Uh, it's such a small park, um, it's actually crammed in quite a nice bit of theming for Halloween. As we pan round here, there's some more of the Western Village. There's a cowboy up there. I'm not sure how he pulls uh, draws from that place though. You can't even see where he's shooting, so I don't rely on him for uh, target practice. Um, and it's a really nice little touches for kids to be able to enjoy the scene around here. <laughs> really, really nice miniature village is here for little kids to take part in. Of course it's obviously a bit of a pain there. Bailey, my Bailey. Cute little miniature village here for kids to be able to go into all the buildings, like the stables, the school, there's a church here. There's a church. Brown house, bigger than the, the actual church. And there's a stable. Oh, there's a cowboy in there, hi cowboy. And it wouldn't be a western town without a stagecoach saloon, complete with the uh, proper cowboy doors where you can go upstairs and go up to the top. I won't go in them too big. And a blacksmith with an anvil and a kiln and blows. There's a jail. So uh, I've already told Casper if he's not behaving himself, he's going to end up in this jail. And a general store so you can get all your sundries. And that is the miniature Western Village. Let's have a look through the farm area then. Push that home, let's see what happens. Lots of animals, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm were lots of animals, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I think that cat needs a vet, doesn't it? Some nice little interactive features here to be able to make the noises and make the actions for the creatures that are on. I'm not sure I trust that dog, it's And over here, what have we got over here? Is there another button to press? Okay, let's see what else there is. Push that one. Yeah, ordinarily there's a, a shooting ride here. It's probably quite as well that it's shut because uh, if anyone knew what my actual job was, uh, people always expect big things that I'm going to be really good at these shooting rides, but I always come second, so butch. So 
that was a nice little go on the uh, family log queen there. It's a lovely log queen to have a go on if you've got uh, family and little kids. It's what similarly along the same lines as the, the ones that they have at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the uh, Rugrats uh, Riverfall. It was a uh, Despite appearances, it's only sort of the biggest. It's not the uh, steepest, but you do get quite splashed on it. So just for awareness, if you, you don't like getting wet, uh, it's not one you want to go on. <laughs> Seeing all these cowboys just reminds me of. Uh, I know why his car wouldn't start. Yeah, he left the engine running. So we've just had to go on the chairlift there, you can see it behind me there. Um, it's a nice little addition to the park that, because as I was mentioning earlier on, there's quite a lot of hills here, so it's a really good way to get from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top uh, without using the legs. So there's a lot of nice little touches that they've put in the park here, just to take the uh, strain out of your legs, because there is a lot of hill walking to do here otherwise. And bear in mind, I don't think there, there's this many hills uh, when I went to Six Flags Magic Mountain either. So it, it is quite a lot of uh, up and down. It's not the biggest of parks, but there is a, the fact that it's built into the side of the mountain means that there is quite a lot of uh, stuff to go up and down. So the fact that they've thought about putting travelators in and a stair lift, it's quite a nice touch as well. And you, besides which, you get some really nice views up at the top of there as well. There's the giraffe. And here you can actually see even the lion is uh, dressed up for Halloween there. No, not even lion. So we are now entering the Lost World, that's the dinosaur section of the park, which has got a few uh, figures of dinosaurs knocking about. And, uh, so anyone who likes dinosaurs, it's a nice little area for you. And, uh, there's one there, looks like he's ready for his tea. See that? I wonder if you're going to have turkey dinosaurs. Anyway. Hello, what are you doing? Well, are you in jail? No. No? What are you doing then? Really nice, uh, there's quite a few nice kids play areas in here. Um, I've been shouted. Hello. There's quite a few nice uh, kids playgrounds. If you want to see their guide there, you can uh, freeze that and zoom in. There's uh, a few little f f fixtures that are uh, a nice little touch here. I'm going to get back inside because it's absolutely hammering it down, aren't you? 
I'm not sure on this part, there's quite a lot of injured people. Like this dinosaur, it must have a bad head. Got all those bandages around it. She's dressed up like a mummy, maybe. Speaking of mummies, here's a mummy here, doing her hair, what hair curl is in. Very 1980s. Enough of this, it's quite creepy. Yeah. Wow, dancer. So I've just had a nice little go on the sky track right there that you can, I'm not sure if you can just see it behind me there, but that's, um, there's no upcharge for that, which is quite a nice little addition to the park, because normally there's an upcharge for that, so uh, the fact that it's concluded in the emission and it's free of charge to come in, that's uh, it's quite good. It is raining quite heavily now. Only thing is that you, uh, there's quite a delay, because anybody who doesn't want to go on it, uh, the operators have to go on and then they have to take them back down. You can just see someone going around there. That's the Sky Shot ride. It's absolutely brilliant. It's good to go to rush really for a family park. And there he is, Gulliver himself saying, this way. And that or uh, put somewhere on the arm. I don't know. But either way, that is Gulliver right there. Nice little carousel there. It's a nice little park really, especially for families. It's, the, it's not really something you'd come if you're looking for thrills and you know, adrenaline rush, but for people small children, it really is a good place to be able to bring your family and uh, enjoy the ride.
The ladybird spin. Slides in nicely with this cell. No feels crisp. It's a nice little sand area here, which is quite good for you know, little kids if they want to have a dig in the, in the sand pits. There's all sorts of little stuff in to play with as well. It's another little digger here because there's a, um, a digger area further on, which I didn't film in there. It was the JCB digger area. You can actually get a board and dig it and you can uh, practice. There's a little uh, shooting blaster area where you can uh, practice shooting. I think that's a bit better than when normally I'm shooting. Um, you know, it's a nice little area to some animals in there like the other Timothy Tree. Why did a little tree like Blake drop? It was a chest nut. Why did the tree die in death? Hang on, let's see it, the creepy. It's all very lucky. Lots of nice little areas for little kids to be able to enjoy. It's not the sort of place that you'd go to if you're looking for a lot of excitement, but I think for little kids, it's actually a brilliant thing to be able to what did the beaver enjoy. And, uh, the tree? It's been nice so you. can go on those things as well. It's not, you don't get the investment that you would do in the Merlin Parks or uh, Universal Parks or Disney, but it's a nice little park and it is it's actually. What the nose, I was going to wrap this up in the park, but uh, it's a little bit wet, so we decided to come in say goodbye in the car. So, did everybody have a good time? Yeah. Yes, even though I'm very, very wet. Casper, did you have a good time? Yes. So, that's it. Thumbs up all round from us. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everyone.